The American people sleep peaceably in their beds at night only because rough men stand ready to do violence on their behalf. George Orwell. This may have been true during his time, but does anyone really believe that now? Does anyone really believe, after what we saw happen in Uvalde, that rough men stand ready to do violence on their behalf? I think that's not the case. In fact, you're not even allowed to offend them anymore. See, people look at pictures like this and they're a little shocked. It's more than just shock. You see, on this platform and virtually every single other one, you can't say anything that would possibly be perceived as hurting their feelings. These are the rough men who are supposed to be standing on walls ready to do violence on our behalf. Those who can't even tolerate someone disagreeing with them or hurting their feelings. Is this who stands ready to defend America? against enemies that wouldn't care about their feelings, not in the least. See, a long time ago, I made allegation, and I caught a bunch of crap for it, that if the U.S. tried a boots-on-the-ground invasion of Venezuela, they'd get smoked. And many people said, oh, we have this huge advantage, technological advantage. It doesn't matter in a jungle. There is no technological advantage in a jungle, number one. And if you have a bunch of people who are butt hurt, pardon the term, about what somebody might say about their lifestyle, what do you think's going to happen when they get into combat? What do you think's going to happen? See, we have a video coming up over at Patreon where we're going to talk about this even more in detail. We've been talking about how the coming collapse of the United States is going to affect women specifically in a very unique way that hasn't been seen literally on the planet for a couple hundred years. How decisions had to be made wildly differently, and there's been this idea put out that we're all the same. That men equal women, women equal men, men can be women, women can be men, men can get pregnant, all this kind of stuff. It's all part of the same psychological dysphoria of people having lost their minds, having lost control of their minds. And that's what we train one US dollar for per month. Not per video, not per week. One dollar per month. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. Fully refundable. First 90 days, you guys know the routine. I really could use you guys' help over there. It's going to be a big deal. Trust me. There's something coming that people aren't seeing. We've talked about this series that I've counseled people to watch, Black Sales. You see, in the coming collapse, the survivors are going to look a lot more, at least the men, are going to look a lot more like Charles Vane than they are these guys. These guys aren't going to last five seconds if they can't handle their feelings being hurt. And they need the purveyors of the platform to go defeat their enemies for them. You see, that's the key. You have to stop our enemies from even speaking. You see, in a real war, whether it would be in Central America, South America, Africa, where there had to be boots on the ground, if you had anybody in your unit that was like that, at least when I was in, you would have got rid of them. You see, I've had some ladies come to my comment section over at the Patreon channel and say, hey, some of the advice you're giving is a little sketchy there. You know, I want a nice guy. We say, I'm not giving relationship advice. I'm giving survival advice. This is, of course, Zach McGowan, the actor from the Star series Black Sales. You can buy the DVD set. I would recommend doing that, actually, because um, one day somebody's going to look at this series and they're going to say, we need to take this down. We need to take this down because it's just not politically correct. I'm surprised this lasted this long, to be truthful. Because there are so many things that you can divine from it that wouldn't necessarily be apparent 
to someone who wasn't looking, but when you took the time to soak it in. Like, for example, most guys would like to have the idea that we could put our head on a pillow at night and not have to sleep with one hand on a weapon or one eye open. See, that's our goal. I mean, nobody wants to live their entire life like a pirate. This being the case. But in this particular character's case, to do this, he had to make sure that every single person out there, other than her, had to be terrified of him. And his men, and what they might do. And that's why he survived for the vast majority of the series, and it was only when he decided to put himself out and stick his neck out for someone else that betrayed him that he got caught and killed. Now, this was one of the scenes that I thought they would for sure delete. Somebody would have seen by now and said, we can't have this. This is a huge anti-feminist message. I can't believe this is out there. You see, they were in a bunker under a fort, and there was a fight getting ready to happen. And what did they have the women in the series do? Needlepoint. Stay out of the way. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of women out there. I can't believe that. I'm going to go watch it. Go watch. Go watch. You see, because at this time, this would have been the reality. It's not that every single one of these women knew how to load a weapon, fire a weapon, use a weapon in self-defense. Heck, even probably pick up a sword and run somebody through if they had to. But when it came down to a full-blown head-to-head fight between one group of men and another group of men, at this time in this era... Even though I'd make the allegation these women were a lot rougher and hardier than most women these days, they stayed out of the way. Because they knew just how ugly it could get. And I'm sure a lot of people are shaking their head, but trust me, guys, when things get bad and the food supply goes away and the money supply isn't worth a damn nothing, Things are going to get tribal, and they're going to get tribal quick. And if you think you're going to be one of these guys that can do it all by himself, you're just going to be a victim. Zelensky says millions could starve because of Russian blockade of Ukrainian ports. See, there's going to be a domino effect that people aren't seeing. The grain, what is shipped, is going to be going to the highest bidder, meaning not Africa. So the first place to really collapse, the real collapse, is going to start in Africa. And when there's mass starvation and riots all across this country, it's going to interrupt their economic, their commerce. Well, what's one of the big things that they they ship out? Gold. $13 billion a year. Platinum, coal, cars. All that's going to get insanely more expensive to do because of the huge upheaval that's going on all across their country. Why? Because everybody's starving. Why? Because Europe is outbidding them for what food remains. And what's going to happen with gold and the dollar? Well, what happens when gold goes up? Price of gold starts skyrocketing. Dollar goes down. Add this on top of inflation. European Central Bank confirms July rate hike plants raises inflation projections significantly, regardless of what happens in Africa. And as far as you digital currency folks, European Central Bank poised to signal July rate hike as inflation jumps to fresh record high. They're talking about 25 basis to 50 basis points. Some have said Florida Maquis. You don't understand the crypto sphere. You don't understand how this works. If Bitcoin is going down, there are people that are going to make money. If Bitcoin is going up, people are going to make money. One way or the other, it's going to, somebody's going to be able to make money. Not if it stays pinned at 30,000. Bitcoin stocks correlation feels like 100% as 30K Bitcoin price frustrates. Bitcoin simply will not budge from its multi-week range and morale is suffering as a result. This is why people are selling. Because it's got to do one of two things for anybody to make money. And when it goes from 29 to 31 to 28 to 29 to 31 to 30 to 29, nobody can make any money. 
nobody can make any real money. You see, this is the vast majority of the experience that the Gen Zers have with what highwaymen and brigands and robbers and muggers are. It's what they see online. This is, of course, a screenshot from Viva La Dirt League here on YouTube. They kind of make fun of gaming muggers and kind of how dumb the, the thing is that they, they do, but it was a real thing. It was a real thing for a long time. This is a picture, of course, of uh, papal forces taking out Italian brigands. But this is going to be the reality. It's going to be a hard thing for people to accept. That survival, especially when it comes to women, and I know this is going to sound hugely misogynist, but it just is what it is. When things get bad, when things get ugly, and resources get scarce, it's going to be guys that are a lot more like Charles Vane that you're going to need to be around and guys that are a lot less like this. Because this is uh, something I didn't think I would see in my lifetime. Truly. Did not believe I would see anything like this in my lifetime. That Not only would it be going on, given that when I was in, you could have been dishonorably discharged for it, and that wasn't very long ago, then now you're not even allowed to say anything. You are restricted. You may not even criticize. 1984. The American people erroneously are sleeping peaceably in their beds at night because they erroneously believe that rough men, non-existent, stand ready to do violence on their behalf. Those men are gone. And the emperor has no clothes. I'll leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Lift each other up. Join us over at Patreon. Would very much appreciate it. One dollar. It's the only level. Get everything there. At least three to five videos per month. And like I said, it's fully refundable if it's not for you. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.